Get hyped for GitHub Universe, new updates to VS Code, a DIY project that involves a dot matrix printer, and the ultimate way to enjoy an iconic 90s album. All that and more on this episode of The Download. Welcome back to another episode of The Download. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Developer Advocate at GitHub. And this is the show where we cover the latest developer news and open source projects. Please like and subscribe. So my shirt this week is from the Sportech collection available at thegithubshop.com. And speaking of the GitHub shop, they've got a collection of items in advance of GitHub Universe, which is taking place in San Francisco in just a few weeks. So whether you're attending in person on October 29th and 30th, or you're joining us online, you can get your swag game on in advance. Speaking of Universe, I will be there. So if you see me, please say hello. And come check out my session, GitHub Copilot Beyond the IDE, on all the ways that you can use GitHub Copilot outside of your favorite code editor. But we've got tons of other great sessions too, and we have some curated agendas for, att for attendees, whether you're joining us in person or online. And so I've got more details on the website linked below, but some of our agendas are for things like what's new with GitHub, where you can explore the latest tooling and features. We've also got an agenda focused on career growth, helping attendees enhance skills and close knowledge gaps. And there is an agenda for the experienced dev focused on technical mastery. And we've got a virtual agenda for remote learning and skill building. Building too. And like I said, if you attend GitHub Universe and you see me, please say hello because I, I love to meet our users. More details at the link down below. One other call out that I wanna make um, is that at GitHub Universe this year, we will have an open source zone, which will be a hotbed of groundbreaking ideas, live demos, and community connections featuring rising stars from our GitHub Accelerator program, champions from our maintainer community, friends from our GitHub fund, and passionate curators from around the globe. And so you'll be able to meet devs for projects like Homebrew, Kubernetes, Home Assistant, Ladybird, Oh My Zosh, and more. And Lee has a great blog post showing off some of the great projects and maintainers that will be on display. So you can check that out at the link below. And, and, and one final Universe sneak peek. There are a number of great sessions about GitHub Copilot workspace at Universe. And Chris and Cole put out a great blog post highlighting some of the best tips and tricks that we've learned in the last five months during the GitHub Copilot Workspace technical preview. And if you're not familiar, GitHub Copilot Workspace is a Copilot native dev environment designed to help you complete everyday coding tasks. So from GitHub, you can open a GitHub issue, a pull request template repository, or an ad hoc task in Copilot Workspace, and you can start working on the problem. It's really, really cool. And so in the blog that I've got linked down below, Chris and Cole talk about some tips and tricks for getting the most out of the experience, and it's definitely worth a read. And again, if you're at Universe, be sure to check out their session because I know it's gonna be fantastic. Speaking of tips and tricks, I just want to give a plug uh, to a great Mac app that is available on github.com for users who might need a virtual uh, monitor for screen sharing. And this is incredibly useful for users who like might have a scenario where an app really wants you to share your whole screen, but either that is an ideal or like you have a gigantic widescreen monitor that makes screen sharing not great. It's called DeskPad, it's free, and like I said, it's on GitHub, and it has um, really come in handy for me when I've had to do presentations or demos, and traditional screen sharing or mirroring just isn't the best. And so I've got a link uh, for DeskPad uh, down below, but a huge shout out to Stango and the other contributors for making this app available. Speaking of apps, just to note that the latest version of Visual Studio Code is out, and it has some great new features, including Copilot support in the native REPL environments used by the Python extension, you can also now change what model you use for Copilot, which is useful if you've signed up for early access to OpenAI's new O1 models. And I've got a link uh, to the full release notes in the description down below. And now it's time for my GitHub Project Spotlight. And this is where I highlight a great project available on github.com. And this time it is a DIY project built by Andrew Schmeilen that combines a top matrix printer, a Raspberry Pi Zero, a serial to USB adapter and a power supply, along with some PHP code to create basically a custom front page of news and weather from around the web in a delightfully lo-fi way. That's right, it prints it all out on a dot matrix printer. Look, are there better ways to get a news digest? Almost certainly. Is it kind of insane to use a dot matrix printer in 2024? Absolutely. Do I love everything about what Andrew did here? Yes, undoubtedly. Thank you so much for sharing this with the world, Andrew, and for putting the code on GitHub. And now it's time for my pick of the week. 
Green Day has become one of the most iconic American bands of all time, and this year marks the 30th anniversary of their breakthrough album, Dookie. And to celebrate, the band did something insanely cool, which was to make a new demastered version of the album, where in their own words, they re-exploded each track onto obscure, obsolete, and inconvenient formats. So that means that each track for the album was put onto a random, obscure, outdated device or format that was never designed for this purpose. A reverse engineer Teddy Ruxpin doll and a cassette tape that plays Chump? Check. Welcome to Paradise on a Game Boy cartridge in all of its MIDI glory? You got it. Basket case playing on a big mouth Billy Bass? You know it. The whole project is bonkers, and they actually made a small number of uh, these items available that the public can enter a chance to buy. Now, by the time you see this, the opportunity to buy any of the tracks will be gone, but the website, which shows off how all these things sound and the ridiculous formats and devices they chose, which include things like a hit clip, a mini disc, an eight track, and even a Fisher Price record, is just delightful and it's worth your time. So listen to me whine. All right, I'll, I'll stop. This is so cool, and I'm crossing my fingers that I will get the opportunity to buy one of these releases. I probably won't, but, but I had to try. Which obsolete format is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, or let me know your thoughts on any of our other topics that we discussed this week. And that's gonna do it for me. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up to help the algorithm, and subscribe to the GitHub YouTube channel for all your nerd needs. See you next time.